Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're watching AMTV Alternative Media Television. It is, of course, April 11th, 2018. We have a very dire situation developing in Syria. By the way, you only get it here at AMTV. Visit our website, amtvmedia.com. Subscribe. It's free. Join us. Support the truth. Support the real news. Support alternative media television. Let's dig into it. Donald Trump threatened overnight to shoot down. This is a direct tweet. This is a quote. Russia vows to shoot down any and all missiles fired at Syria. Get ready, Russia, because they will be coming. Nice and new and smart. You shouldn't be partners with a gas-killing animal who kills his people and enjoys it. And enjoys it. Now, first question is to be, where's the evidence? Has there been a third-party investigation, confirmation of this? No. Were we lied to before in 2013 with the false flag chemical attack in Ghouta that was blamed on Assad and turned out to be a bold-faced lie? It was actually the terrorists on the ground funded and armed by the United States government and U.S. intelligence assets? Yes. So why should we trust a single thing coming from our government officials' mouths now? Especially as they reorganize and play this international chess game with all of our lives. Now, why is Donald Trump talking? I thought he wasn't going to warn ISIS before he struck. He wasn't going to warn America's enemies before he hit them right between the nose. I thought he wasn't going to telegraph to Vladimir Putin when he was going to bomb Russia. Yet suddenly, via Twitter, if this is even Trump speaking, I mean, this is the most powerful man on the planet, he suggested that not only will he be bombing, Syria. But he will be bombing Russia, Russian assets, with nice, new, and smart weapons. Now, this is pretty unbelievable to think about the type of technology that the United States government, and more importantly, the military industrial complex possesses today. Artificial intelligence, autonomous weapons, autonomous missiles, autonomous bombs, drones. Much of the warfare fought, as Einstein once said World War was it four would be fought with sticks and stones after World War III. We are dealing with something so complex, so crazy, so insane that it could send us into a nuclear holocaust overnight. And this is what people need to understand. This is a World War III situation, folks. A World War III situation. This is not just about an isolated country in the name of Syria. This isn't like Iraq in the past. This isn't like Libya. This isn't like Yemen. This isn't like Ukraine. It's not like these other wars Americans and the international community tends to forget about, unless you're the ones being bombed. So what ha happened last night? Over the last 48 hours or so, bombings have started. Israel has struck this part of the world with very aggressive missiles and bombs. Syrians lost a lot of sleep last night as they cleared all international airspace in this part of the world. Not a single commercial jet has been warned not allowed to fly over Syria and Assad's government. What does Donald Trump have planned? But more importantly, what does the dark state have planned behind the scenes? As they puppet master with all of our lives. And they continue to lie to us time and time again. Now, again, this is a very complex situation. We need to ask ourselves the question whether or not Donald Trump is really in control here. Is he calling the shots as they extort him, as they violate his legal client-attorney relationship, an unconstitutional act with Mr. Cohn, and pigeonhole them exactly where they want him? There was an image I saw. I don't think we have it, but there was an image we saw uh, yesterday where Trump just looks absolutely terrible. Looks terrible. He looks like he hasn't been sleeping. He looks like he's under a lot of duress. He looks like he's under a lot of stress. As CNN and the fake news media cartel, these giant, massive conglomerate corporations dig trash out of a dumpster, like a dumpster baby, as is the case of the porn star allegations with Mrs. What Her Face Is. Who, who even cares? I guess she's doing a spread with Penthouse now. She's just, you know, strictly at it for the money. We have the media complex. We have the military-industrial complex. We have 
the establishment at its core, Republicans and Democrats, all working against the President of the United States, who they've accused, falsely, I believe, in my opinion, of colluding with Russia. Yeah, that's right. They hacked the election together. Mm Mm-hmm. That's what they want you to believe. They were enjoying themselves out in Moscow, downing vodka shots and hacking the election via Facebook. That's what they expect you to believe. Yet you can't have it both ways. Here we have Donald Trump at this hour right now vowing to strike not just Syria, but Russia. Control right the content between which they release the teeth. This is absolutely not, incredible. I got a little audio too coming here, Alex, from one of these shoes here. This is absolutely incredible. This is absolutely catastrophic for the international community as they gear us up for war. Donald Trump himself has warned of a major, major announcement, I believe, to follow direct action, of which there will be very, very serious consequences. Vladimir Putin, former KGB, has warned of very, very serious ills. As a result, not only would they target the missiles and the aircraft firing, but any U.S. and allied asset, asset attacking Assad's government. Now, Syria is a very important chess piece in this part of the world. It is very, very important. If they lose Syria, Russia loses it all. Okay, just like North Korea is a proxy for Iran and their nuclear capabilities, this is what the real, real truth is. This is what the real war is all about. So let's refresh our memories for a second. This is about world engagement, world conflict, total and all-out war with the United States at the helm, its Israeli assets, its biggest, most powerful ally, France, the United Kingdom, good parts of the European Union, that part of the international smorgasbord against and versus Russia, a billion Chinese, a nuclear-armed Iran, North Korea, and a rising, rising giant as the United States loses control and power over the world. Let's go to a couple other tweets here. Donald Trump, these are direct quotes, not my opinions. These are the facts, just like it is a fact that your government lied to you in 2013 about the other false flag Gouda chemical attack. Just like it is a fact, your government and the mainstream media cartel lied to your face about WMDs being in Iraq, of which was the reason for the intervention. Just like they invaded Iraq and Afghanistan, two countries that had nothing to do with September 11th, according to the official 9-11 Commission report, if that's to be believed. Saudi Arabia, notice they've been pivoting, they've been posturing. They're westernizing their economy. They've been paying a visit here to the United States, shaking hands with the new railroads, big technology companies, which are mysteriously being grilled in a mass distractionary campaign today as the Pentagon readies for material war. This is Donald Trump, direct quote. Our relationship with Russia is worse now than it has ever been. And that includes the Cold War. I, by the way, have been saying this for 10 years. There is no reason for this. Russia needs us to help with their economy, something that would be very easy to do, and we need all nations to work together. But then he follows that up with smart weapons, bombs, and a full frontal assault and attack of Russia. Do you understand that it's not about Syria? It's about Russia. What do you think they're discussing right now on Capitol Hill with Mr. Zuck Erberg? He's sitting on a booster seat right now looks like some kind of alien who can barely speak, a cerebral maniac who's built a company, which is its sole job, he says they're not a media company, is basically to data mine you and all information they can possibly garner and then sell that at maximum profit. And believe me, these politicians don't care about you. This is the work of George Soros, Rupert Murdoch, multi-billion dollar interests. And by the way, I don't know if you guys noticed this, Yesterday, Rupert Murdoch, one of his offices, were raided overseas. Do you get it? Do you understand the war being played? This isn't about you. This is about oligarchical interests. 
This is about billionaires. This is about the trillion dollar military industrial complex. This is about spreading fears, lies, misinformation, and total propaganda as psychological warfare geared to impregnate that seed into the minds of the American people. How could America not respond to a chemical attack engineered? Well, if you look at the evidence, and there's been no third-party verification of this at all, and the attempts by Russia and the United States to investigate have been squelched. This is absolutely unbelievable. Donald Trump goes on, much of the bad blood with Russia is caused by the fake and corrupt Russia investigation, headed up by the all-Democrat loyalists or people that worked for Obama. Mueller, and notice there was a video. I sent this to you. We're not going to play it. It was John Kerry, where he confirmed with 100% certainty. I'm paraphrasing a bit. We're talking 100% clarity. The Barack Obama and the Obama administration were solely responsible for removing all chemical weapons from Assad, Syria, and where these alleged attacks have been perpetrated, places like Ghouta. Wow, what a bold-faced lie. Do you understand that nothing that these people say can be trusted? Nothing that these people, what they say, can be believed? The American people are waking up through technology and our ability to hold a freaking cell phone and understand the lies being presented to us. It's the same what reason we're facing regulation. It's the same reason we are under attack. It's the same reason they want to squelch and get rid of and destroy free speech. If they don't agree with you, they want to turn you off. Don't let that happen. Again, a reminder to click that link below and support us on demand. It's free.